It is humid as a motherfucker out here. Let us pray. Yahweh Shai, it is you that gives us life each and every day. It is you that gives us a purpose and brings us the finer things, humor, humility, humble skills. Let us ask that you be with people who constantly have to go out of their way to try to ruin somebody's happiness, to validate their own miserable life. Shalom. Hallelujah. Hello and good evening, everyone. Um, welcome to my latest adventure. It is the Lovable Lunatic Lounge. It is the Lovable Lunatic here in the Lovable Lunatic Lounge. I have changed my name because we do got a lounge here. We got a variety in the lounge. And a reminder to those of you just joining us, every day is a new video. Every single day we got different, fresh content. Could be about sports today. Could be about your mom baking me cookies tomorrow. There's my one per video. Could be about boobs. Could be about relationship advice. It could be about your life. Who knows? Every day, new video. So like, share, and subscribe. And we here at the Lovable Lunatic Lounge, thank you. Although it is just me, the Lovable Lunatic. Today I want to talk to you about trespassers. Okay, I want to talk to you about trespassers and trespassing. Often in life, we have people who come our way for no reason, just to try to ruin the little shred of happiness we got. Whether their lives lack interest, whether they are that miserable that they have to focus on a stranger, whether they have justification in trying to bring you down. I can't call it. I don't know. I know what we call these people. We call these people trespassers. They are trespassing on our property. Unwanted, unwarded. We have posted, we have motherfucking posted sides up. But they don't get it. You know why they don't get it? I don't know why they don't get it. I don't even think the Most High, yeah, Yahweh understands. Why, you know? There's no rhyme or reason or logical explanation for it. These people are just very sick, you know? Don't, don't torment them, don't torture them, don't feed into them, I know that's hard. Seeing as how I'm a petty motherfucker at times, petty Eddie, but this new spiritual awakening within me has given me some light, you know, especially if you're a recovering drug addict or an active addiction, you're always going to have trespassers. You're always going to have people stepping on your ground trying to ruin shit. For example, I, over here, we used to have some miserable motherfucker. There's this room right next to me that would go out of his way to try to make shit up about me, try to make up these evil, awful things about me. Just so, for what? So he could get a promotion? So he could kick me off property and destroy my job where I have peace, comfortability, and, and just absolute soothing of soul? Where I've created something and you know, even though I have been slacking, uh, this week I've stepped my game up, but, you know, I've, overall I've been slack. you know, you want to take all this away from me? That must mean that you're lacking something in your life. And I got mad at it at first, and then it was like, all right, just hearing the stories you would make, oh, you know, it's, to me, it makes you scratch my head, like, what is so wrong with them? What were they through that they feel like they have to treat people like this? Especially people that are actually nice to them and try to be, you know. And in the past, I probably would have kicked him in, in what little teeth he had and set him on his way. But I asked Yahweh for a favor. I called in the Most High to remove the situation, like, to, in some way, remove me from the situation, help me break away from that. The next day, the man left property. The 
boss said to him, you know, you're coming to me with this stuff, you have no physical evidence, and I talk to Ed, I talk to whoever else, you know, none of this is going on, and this is assumptions in your head because you have a vendetta against them for whatever reason. So instead of trying to work this out, having the three of you sit down and figure out the problem, something has to give. And he said, well, I guess I'll leave because I didn't accomplish what I wanted. And that's the thing. Why do you want to accomplish that for somebody? Why are you that low down? Did they rape your child? Did they fuck your bitch? Sorry, did they have sex with your woman? Did they look at the chick who likes titties and get them before you did? You know? None of those? Weird. Then why are you, and even still, why are you not letting karma handle that? I did, and look what happened. It's gone. The most high will handle any situation you ask it to. There's no need to be a miserable muck of a human being, mud hole of a human being. It's not worth it. It's really not. So, you know... You want to get mad, you want to turn petty when then people trespass on you. Understand, even though I am spiritual, there is but no religion. There is Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and the Holy Spirit. There is no God, there is no Jesus Christ. The letter J was not invented in the alphabet at that time. You know, I believe in the Israelite way, I do. And I will get into some scriptures on that and um, uh, the research facts that I have come up with eventually. That's not for this time and place. Um, I've never wanted to force my spirituality. If you turn to the Lord in one way or another, good on you. It's not the right way sometimes, but hey, I'm not to say who's right or wrong. He is. He will rule that. When Yahweh examines you when, you're, when this life is over for the next life, whether you go up top or down below, whether you... You, he, you hail in the lights of heaven or you burn in the abyss of hell. That's on you. Oh, I, I know. I'm, I'm not going to make any situation worth by letting, by letting my trespassers have the better of me, letting that consume me with that evil entity. It says in the serenity prayer, forgive our trespassers as we forgive those who trespass against us. which doesn't be, uh, forgive our trespasses. So, I forgive myself if I've done this before. I apologize to anybody I've done this to, if I have. And I forgive those of you that have trespassed against me. And I hope those of you that have had trespassers are wise and mature enough to forgive those. I'll give them the verb and saying, hey, fuck you, but I love you at the same time and may you get the help you deserve. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I wish you all a beautiful, blessed night. Titties and beer for all. I'm going to go drink one right now. Bless be. Shalom.